Hey you, it's Jessia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very random video, but I'm like, you like stickers, I like stickers. Maybe you like putting stickers on your laptop, or maybe you want to, but you are kind of scared to. <laughs> and I totally get that. Um, but yeah, in this video, we're going to put, we're going to select a bunch of vinyls and put them on my new laptop. Um, yeah, I finally got a new laptop. It was just really time. Um, I use my other laptop a lot, like every day, and it was kind of dying <laughs> with what I was doing with it. Um, so I upgraded uh, after a few years, and this is, uh, I actually got a different color this time. I got the Space or Star Grey. And previously I always got silver, so this is my last one, and sorry it's a bit dirty. <laughs> um, I didn't actually finish stickering it, but this is what it looked like previously. And everything held up really well except for this, um, like, cuss, this, um, uh, whoop, word vinyl that came from Etsy. They just don't seem to stick in the long term. And parts of it had come off, but it used to say holy crepe, um, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. I accidentally, I actually accidentally bought that, but, you know, in the Etsy, um, card. But yeah, this is what it originally looked like, and we're gonna... Go ahead and put some stuff together in this one. I usually, for that one, I like got collected over time and laid on, but this one I'm gonna hold a bunch of stuff that I'm interested in using because um, I just have so many vinyls and I need to use them. So, first up, I have a bunch of these Lord of the Rings place stamps stickers from Odd Loop. And you gotta remember, these are vinyl stickers they're made to go in like water bottles and stuff, so. That's what you want to put on a laptop. Um, stuff that will last. But yeah, I have a bunch of these from Lord of the Rings, except for Rivendell, because I'm pretty sure I put Rivendell on my December monthly because that is December 25th is the date that they left Rivendell. Rivendell in um, in the Fellowship of the Ring. So that's why I put it there. I have a couple of school prints go um pink ribbit bows. I do have a purple one on my old laptop. I don't know if I want to put pink on. We'll see if I use those, but I have them anyway. These are from um, Natty Cat, I think. All the vinyl shops will be listed below, um, but this is some emo stuff. So this is like a black glittery one. This is emo shit, and this one is So Long and Good Night from My Chemical Romance. One of my favorite bands, and then I have this holographic Sailor Moon. I'll try and link everything down below when I can find the links for it. But um, we also have this glittery Furby Ramune bottle, which I thought was fun. I thought it would be fun to have something holographic on here. Then these are from um, Wish Upon Magic, just some of my favorite of her Disney vinyls that I bought, and I think. Stitch is on clear sticker paper, and oh, he might actually fit really well there. I'm not sure how the clear will look on the space gray, but we'll see. I might actually keep him there, because he kind of fits perfectly. <laughs> Plus, I love Stitch so much. And then these are all girls from Sonia Stegerman, and we've got like a girl with butterflies in her eyes. We've got this gorgeous one, which I think I definitely want to use. Uh, like a Rococo one, um, this is like, yeah, I just got a bunch of them. She's been doing a lot of butterflies really recently. Well, this is a cute vampire girl. Cute coffee girls, a little witchy girl. So yeah, so let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Um, so first of all, I definitely want this little stitch in here, and I definitely want some of these big girls. I would love to have... Her, her definitely. We just want to space out the bigger ones so you know they fit in. I definitely want to fit this girl in. Hey, hey, now it's voiceover Jess. And I apologize for the sound difference because obviously different microphones. But I basically had to change to voiceover because real-time Jess just blabbered on about who knows what. And then I got kind of self-conscious that I didn't know what I was talking about. Because I was also concentrating on doing the laptop stickers. 
And then I kind of just like trailed off and didn't really talk at the end. So here we are. We're going to talk about putting these laptop stickers down. And I know it's always sort of, it's a hard thing to do. It's like starting a new notebook and getting yourself to like start using it. <laughs> um, I think it's like, this was easier because I did have so many just like um, hoarded away um, but yeah, I really love the way it turned out in the end. Here I am trying to choose which odd loop Lord of the Rings stickers I wanted to use, um, in terms of color in the end, because I love the colors of the Argonath, it was all purple, and I thought the bright and cheerful Hobbiton would be best, um, to put in this spread. And I'm just trying to rearrange, like we're kind of going, to, going from big sticker to little sticker, trying to fill in spaces obviously like there's different ways to do this you could um layer you could do them separately like I am but you could also layer them on top of each other and then do like a real collage thing which I think it looks really cool on notebooks especially um especially because on notebooks then you could probably trim the sides off oh here I am talking about stuff uh, I guess I should mention like what I'm actually talking about in this video touching my wrist basically I was explaining why I hadn't done a plan with me for a while or other videos for like two weeks and it's basically um, part of it was that I injured my wrist um, I got a certain kind of tendonitis I'm pretty sure it's not the actual the normal carpal tunnel it's I was showing you with my wrist, but carpal tunnel is like down the middle of your wrist. And the pain that I had was on sort of like the outer tendon that was underneath my pinky side of my hand. So right on like the end of the palm where it's kind of a bump that I woke up one day with it being super painful. And, um, and overall my whole arm and elbow as well. So that was that whole tendon muscle area on the outer side of my arm. Anyway, um, basically uh, the only thing to really do with that kind of injury is not use your wrist, <laughs> not use your hand. And I got a little wrist splint for it as you may have seen on my Instagram. And uh, basically I was kind of down from that because I couldn't draw, I couldn't plan and um, just overall was in a sad mood just not a good mental health time not just because of the risk but for other factors as well it was sort of like um, a, a weird little blip time period where everything kind of went really bad for like one night and one morning and then um, I had a lot of really bad anxiety for all weekend and then I kind of like changed my mind, like uh, shifted my mindset from that. And I think I finally like figured some things out that would hope that's hopefully going to change my life for the better. But this is all a mental health journey of like trying to get out of anxiety, trying to get out of caring so much about things that don't actually matter to my life. I mean, it's trying to be like some things are not worth being passionate about. <laughs> And just moving on and just restricting and block and muting that stuff and moving on with my life and and focusing on the better parts of my life so I kind of went through that for that two weeks of not being on Instagram um, on YouTube I just couldn't bring myself to like do voiceovers and talk about my life I kind of just planned by myself once I could with my wrist <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, that's what I was really talking about in this video, but I kind of, it was just a word salad, honestly. <laughs> um, but what I'm showing you here is that um, I've started putting down, I have a, roughly the idea of where I want everything. And then I had that little spot in the middle, so I just went through my other vinyls. And I added that little buffer med in, which is also from Natty Cat. Um, and now we're going to start the fun of putting them down. I feel like this is the easiest way to do it is place them all and then one by one start sticking, sticking them into place. 
And oh, I love that, that holographic Ramune Furby. It's so cute and sparkly. But as you can see, when you're placing stuff down, like you can sort of shift things as you go. And I feel like um, then you start to notice a few more areas. So I do stick in. Do I, do I get another sticker in? I think maybe or at least I end up with only one little empty spot which I need to find a little sticker for but I think overall this ends up all right but I'm kind of just working my way outwards in at the moment so I've got the bottom row done because they're all fairly big so now let's go up to the side and get the another really big one in oh these stickers are so pretty and you want to make sure that they are, I think I've already said this, but they're like proper vinyl stickers um, that you can put on water bottles and stuff. They last so long. Look at that one. She's so pretty with the metallic butterflies. Uh, it makes me so happy to have like a, a fun decorated laptop. And also because you spend so much money on these stickers. It's good to have a way that I can actually enjoy them like every day. Every day I look down at them and I'm like, oh, so pretty. <laughs> and I do end up fitting that um, school prints go bow vinyl in, which is nice to have that little reference there. So I actually just shifted the little stitch down because he fit, like he could fit all the way through to the bottom. I think that's what I'm saying. So now I've got like a big space up the top. So I thought maybe this extra coffee girl from Sonia will fit <laughs> and try not to have a sideways bow because I think it just everything's sort of facing a proper way which um I didn't talk about this at all in the video but they're all facing so they will be the right side up when you're looking at the laptop from the other side like if I'm using my laptop and I have it open all of this will look like this right way up so technically when I close it everything is upside down but you know you kind of like you want to design it for what it looks like when it's open kind of thing I mean you can do it the opposite way if you want it doesn't really matter <laughs> um, but yeah so I was like I can fit in this coffee girl in somehow and somehow she doesn't really end up in that position. I don't know what happens. <laughs> you know how it is when you're just sticking stickers in. It doesn't always go perfectly. So a few of those stickers, as you can see, are transparent. And I think they ended up working okay on the space gray. I wasn't sure if they would. And here we go. Here's a thing, a tip with vinyl. Um, these kind of stickers, if they're good quality, you can lift them up very quickly and keep replacing them until you get the right placement. I did this even to the end of this video, <laughs> so a few minutes worth of picking this up and trying to like place it properly so it's not overlaying too much but it's not also hanging over the edge because it's going to fray it's going to get fluff on it, it's going to be annoying so you want to make sure nothing like um, hangs over the edge. I think these are all just common sense sticker things for especially on laptops if you do this kind of thing um, over the years but just wanted to say then that's why I keep shifting in but yeah I think and no, I think I do shift it again at the end <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna get another really big one in so so pretty I feel like um like color wise it doesn't all have to match I think it has a good level of a lot of pink and a lot of bright colors um, I think it all goes really well together in the end <laughs> and it's all kind of like this is me kind of stickers because that's I think the most fun part so I stick down that little dude there but I think I do pick that one up maybe because it's over the apple Let's have a look. I just looked at the underside of the laptop because I'm using it right now to edit. And um, I do move that buffer man. <laughs> so I thought I put in like the stamps as sort of like 
not completely straight because I think it looks a bit more pleasing if they're not completely straight. But now you'll be able to see, oh, I added in that little Bruno to match with the stitch because those are kind of my favorite newer ones that I had of the sidekicks. I kind of love all the sidekicks in Disney, so it doesn't really matter, but those two are just adorable. I love them. Um, but now you can see that little spot that I have empty and I don't actually end up finding anything for it yet. I think I'm going to measure out how big that little spot is and just be on the hunt for a little vinyl that'll fit there. But otherwise, I think it's looking cute. Plus, my other laptop had a really big empty part, which is in the same like area <laughs> as you would have seen at the beginning. Um, and that was fine. It doesn't really matter, but I feel like it, this one is, looks more complete. So it'd be nice to have that final corner finished, but that is the finished laptop <laughs> spread. If you like this random little video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Usually we put stickers on paper in planners, not on laptops, but I thought this could just be a fun, different little video. I don't know. Um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and just a little update about me and this channel. We're going back to regular plan with me and videos, so stay tuned. Got all like, you know, the March, picking March kids and monthlies and hauls are all coming up, so. Um, I hope I see you around in another video. By the way, I hope you have a wonderful week, and stay safe and healthy, and remember that I love you. And you are important and amazing and beautiful in your own way. And you should embrace yourself and love yourself this week. Okay, that's all for me. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.